In interviewing Tyler Colvin, there are typical reporter-player interactions about the game. This one a first. I'm watching uh, Brett Tomko pitch to a guy on stilts right now. <laughs> <laughs> In his six-year major league career, the first rounder out of Clemson saw plenty of pitchers. This again, a first. Yeah, he, he came out, rolled out in a barrel and hopped out there and first uh, first pitch, he, he comes set, comes up and wiggles and his uh, oversized uh, overalls plops down to his ankles. and. More often these days raking his Mount Pleasant yard than raking fastballs, he impressed the MLB Players Alumni Association enough this summer in an old man home run derby of sorts to get the invite. I don't know how you can turn that down. Once the game kicks off in literal terms. They're like, don't worry about it. If you make an air, just fall on the ground and do snow angels in the dirt or something like this. If a fan catches a foul ball, you're out. So like, it just keeps everybody in the game for all nine innings. No way to turn away because you'll turn right back when back streets back. All right. And I was there behind uh, the pitcher's mound doing it. Of course, I knew all the songs, no big deal. In the grand scheme, the plan for it to be bigger than baseball. For Tyler Colvin, it was. Banana Land let him peel off a bit of his past for his kids to finally experience in the present. It was everything to share that with them. And, you know, on the field after the game, you know, the kids were so excited. It got all these former big leaguers around that uh, played for a long time and, uh, they could care less about them. They just wanted all the Bananas guys' autographs and uh, just had a great time with it. And your wife got to meet a Backstreet Boy. I mean, I guess that's the ultimate. Yeah, I think our wedding photo is going down and that one's going up. Heck, for a weekend back in the bigs of sort, he wants it that way. Don't